Hey YouTube, this is Anna from Ladies and Anna's Journey. I'm coming to do our What's in Our Diaper Bag video. Um, this is our diaper bag that I showed y'all in the diaper bag review. It's a JJ Cole canvas satchel diaper bag. Um, the It's Stone Arbor. If um, you want to know anything about the diaper bag, you can check out um, my other video. I did another video um, on the diaper bag itself. So I just wanted to come and, you know, do what's in my um, diaper bag for the hospital. When I delivered the baby, I would do another video of what's in my diaper bag. But that would be like what would be in there on an everyday basis. So this is for the hospital for just right now. And the other one would be what's in it every day so let's start so I didn't put anything in these front pockets I didn't need to put anything in it okay so this paper right here um I'm not gonna really like show y'all the paper um it's her birth certificate. Um, it has my important information on it. I already filled it out. So all I have to do is hand it to them. So that's something that I'm not going to show y'all. Because I don't want, you know, people to have my social security number or nothing like that. Okay, so let's send her diaper bag. She had this pacifier holder. Um, it's Bugs Bunny because that's Lady's favorite character. She loved Bugs Bunny, and she said that she had to use this one first because she also have a cupcake one, and everybody knows I love cupcakes. Um, so I decided to let her use this one first because Lady really wanted to. So this was this one thing that's in her diaper bag. Um, because I do use pacifiers. Um, to me, I just feel like it's a a good way to get your kids to calm down. Okay, so she has. Let me see. Three pair of mittens. Let's see. This one pair. I have them folded up. I don't really want to unfold them, but here's the design. It's another one. It's real similar to the one I just showed you. And this striped white and pink one. She has three mittens. Um. I think it's another pair of socks. I'm not sure, but she have a a purple pair. They already fold up in a white pair. Mm. I bought four hats. You know, I'm not sure which outfit she'll wear. Um, hold on, excuse me. Oh, sorry about that. I'm not sure which outfit she'll wear. So she have four. Let me pull this closer. She has four um, hats. This is one, just a regular pink one with a little bow. She has just a all plain yellow one. All plain pink one. And a purple one with little flowers on it. Okay, so... She's going to have a little night outfit... And um, when she first born, this is the first thing I'm going to put on her. Okay, so. Um, it's size newborn. It's from Carter's. It's a yellow stripe um, pair of pants. With, um, it has duck on the feet. It has little ducks on the feet. Sorry about this. I'm trying to. Pull it out so you can see the little ducks on the feet. It has little ducks on the feet. And this is the shirt. I'm sorry, I got to move this back so I'll show you. And this is the little ducky shirt. Ok, 
camera y'all speed up this, this video is already five minutes long and I didn't get to show you everything so this is the little outfit that she's going to be wearing it's a size newborn if she can fit newborn if she can't fit newborn um I chose this outfit um it's a onesie this is what she'll wear um when she's first born is zero to three and it, it has a cupcake on it. It says, I take the cake. And I thought it was real cute because they have a cupcake on it. And I love cupcakes. So, that's what she'll be wearing the first day at the hospital when visitors come and see her. Um, lady um, choose the going home outfit. And this is a newborn, um, a newborn outfit. It has a sweater. Um, it has a sweater. It has a a little, you know, just a onesie inside of it. You can see it's a short sleeve onesie that snaps at the bottom, and it has purple and blue dots on it, and a pair of sweatpants that goes with it. So it's a sweat outfit, and it's a size newborn. So this is what um lady picked out for her to wear. Okay, so if she can't fit newborn clothes, so we decided to bring one of each. One is newborn, one is zero to three, just in case she can't fit newborn. If she can't fit newborn, then we'll take all our newborn stuff back to the store and switch for a bigger size. But um this is her zero to three outfit. If she can't fit newborn, she'll come home in this. It's pink with, you see, the white polka dots, and it has the brown um, owls on it. So cute. I think owls are so cute. Then it has the um, brown and white um, stripe. Um, I'm saying um, too much. <laughs> brown and white stripe onesie with the pink sweatpants underneath. So, that's her coming home outfit. Um, they take pictures at the hospital. Um, I want her to be wrapped up inside one of her blankets. So uh, I'm deciding to have her wrapped up in one of these. And steady in the outfit. So this is one receiving blanket that I decide to pack. I love these patterns. And here's another one. I decided to pack only two. One for when she's in the hospital and one... One for when she's in the hospital for her pictures and one to come home. I had packed this headband um, so she could take her picture in at the hospital. I thought it was so cute. She'll be wearing a hat home um, when she's coming home from the hospital so she don't need a headband. It's so scrunchy, but it has a... You know, the little connected piece there so it don't come apart. But that, um, what else did I put? Of course, I've got hand sanitizer. Um, I have one in my pocketbook. Um, lady has one in her car. We have two on the changing table and one big one in our living room just in case we have company and we're in the living room. And that's how they, you know, Cleaning hands off before they touch the baby. So I have that. And I also put these pacifier wipes in here. Um, because we do plan on using. Um, and just in case she drop it at the hospital, we can wipe it off. We don't want them anyone to put it inside their mouth. Um, so this is the last thing that's in her diaper bag. It's a um big blanket to cover her. And she'll have on the outfit, she will have on the receiving blanket to tuck her in, and this big blanket to cover the whole car seat from the wind being in her face. Or, I don't know, um, she's going to be a spring baby, it might rain, who knows, it might even snow. So, um, we got this big blanket. Got this big blanket that I thought was so cute. It has little birds and hearts and flowers and owls and elephants on them. 
it's really cute and um it's just real soft in the inside you could just tell by the um the video that is just like a soft soft material it's a soft pink inside so that's it that's what's in her diaper bag um for the hospital i do have a list still of things that i want to pick up last minute to go to the hospital but i think that's what's in my hospital bag um for me and lady and that video is coming next so thank you for watching bye bye